Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. I'm going to be doing a speed test on my old Xbox One X. I say old because the thing is actually five years old this year. So that's old <laughs> in gaming times. So if you like this video and um, if you haven't subscribed already, if you click that subscribe and that like button on the, this video, uh, I'd appreciate that. And so first I'm going to start off with the speed test wirelessly and then i'm going to do it wired so let's just run that speed test right now so you go down to test network speed and settings i do like to mention that you go into settings on your xbox first and then obviously you'll see this page and that'll be network and obviously you scroll down and there'll be a test network and speed Test network speed and statistics. 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 Something istics. Ay. That one's not going away. I'm not going to hear the end in that comment box. This guy can't even say statistics. Statistics. Okay, I'm gonna get the results on that speed test. Anytime, anytime. Okay, so that's 148 megabytes and 87 megabytes. I do like to mention that I have a wireless access point that is hardwired in the actual room. So your speed test may vary on wireless, but it says they're 100% signal. And I think that gives a 100% clue that it's literally just below the TV, the actual access point. All right. So my next test is going to be wired. And it looks like I actually have 1% pa yeah, packet loss. Oh, that's not great. You really want zero. 148.87 megabytes and 28.49 megabytes so upload and download so I would like to mention that of course because I've had a recent upgrade of my internet it's now above 70 meg so well, actually it was the 70 meg before so what I'm saying is it's, but it's above 80 because the highest I got was 80 so yeah just run that speed test by obviously connecting the ethernet connect uh, the Ethernet port on the back and we should be able to go. So like I was saying, if you've got it wireless and it's running to your Xbox, if you've got walls and floors, obviously that would obviously change. But obviously now most people have additional access points that basically boost the signal around their their house. So they get a stronger signal, but you're not going to get 100% signal strength because that's, like I said, my one runs straight from um, a network port in the, in the actual room straight to a Wi-Fi disk. Yeah. So that's why, obviously, you're getting that. So let's just go out there now. You can see it's changed on current network status to wired. And we're going to run the test again by going down again to network. Test network and speed and statistics. Okay, this time I've got just a little bit better. Obviously, I do like to point out again that the wireless box is right below the TV. I've got 0% packet loss, so that's a big improvement because we had 1% and now we've got 0%. That's much better. So 148 megabytes 
0.01 download speed and 28.38 megabytes load speed. So there isn't a huge amount of difference, but as I said before, it's because the box is below the TV. So it's not going to be a real honest test when you compare it to other people's setup. But it's close enough to show that without walls, wireless can be quite reliable. But the whole point of wireless was to have no cables. So the fact that it can't go through walls, where you can't put cables through anyway, kind of defeats the object. Okay, so like I said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.